Good evening, everybody. This is the uh, April 10th meeting of the Merrimack Agricultural Commission. The time is 7.05 on Wednesday evening. Uh, welcome to all listening. Um, going into the agenda, comments from the press or public, seeing none, we're, we're going to move forward on to new business. Uh, item A is the summer market. So far, I've received six vendor applications um, to start with. I think that's pretty good for the middle of April, you know. People are responding. Uh, I didn't get mail this week. I didn't go down to the town hall. But, uh, this is as of last Thursday or Friday, whatever day. Um, they picked up mail. Um, and then I have to talk to Joelle over there and give her the dates and stuff in the summer market. Other than that, um, at some point, if I have a rainy day this spring, I'm going to paint the other side of the big white sign. Mm -hmm. and we talked about that, Ronnie. Yep. Um, and um, I don't know. Any questions about summer market? So a lot of vendors are going to just they wait till the last minute to fire stuff in you probably. Oh, I have no problem yeah. with that. Yeah, I, like I said, Don, still early. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. You know. Oh no no, I was just was you just know comment. So. Uh, <clears throat> what what's the first day for that? June. June 10, I believe. Ah uh, yeah. yeah. So exactly two months away then. Because oh, there's yeah. the 10th, so. You're right. Holy it's coming quick, huh? No, it's the uh, June. It'll be the 12th. 12th. The 12th is a Wednesday. <coughs> yeah, that's what I was just looking at. It's the 12th. Well, the 10th June 12th. is a Monday. Because that's what I've been telling people that uh, so we'll be there two, until two then. months and two days. Yeah. Huh. My mistake. I better get over there and talk to some guys. Huh. Anyway, okay. Summer market's coming. Uh, we're looking for vendors uh, for our Merrimack Summer Market at um, Vault Storage on DW Highway. Anybody interested, please contact us. Uh, we're looking for more customer participation, too, as always. So reach out to us on Wednesday afternoons and come visit. What, what is the um, email address for the, to reach you for the market? Merrimack Summer Market at gmail.com. Merrimack. Merrimack Farmers, excuse me, Merrimack Farmers Market at gmail.com. There's been several people that have reached out on the Facebook page looking to participate in the winter and Did summer. Did Farm Merrimack Farmers Market? <coughs> I'll have to show you. There's a messenger Market section of that. Farmers Market. Yeah, you'll yep. have to. I've been fielding that for, for right now. Um, at gmail. There's a, yep. there's a guy in town. There's a, On the Facebook page, it's a message, messenger. If you just... But don't respond right now because I'll field them for you. I mean, I'll, I'll direct them to you. That's what I've been doing. Um, I sent somebody to you, Don. Um, she makes cookies or s'mores. S'mores, yeah. Yeah. So Did we already have two cookie vendors. Yeah, but this lady only makes s'mores. That's all she makes. Did she? So she reached out to me, and I wanted. I I didn't get back to her yet. I I wanted to discuss it with you guys. We already have two cookie vendors. Mm -hmm. One, they only makes cookies, and G3 makes cookies and other baked goods. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what I don't want to do is oversaturate s'mores cookies. I put that in the same category mm. to then take away sales from two other already. The way she described that, I didn't think she was a threat because that's the only thing she would ever bring to the market, and she just wanted to uh, advertise her s'mores around Merrimack because she's a Merrimack resident. No, and anyway. I understand that. I just didn't want to. I'm trying to, I don't want, it, we're not at, we're building it slow and I don't want to, I, I don't want to lose two, two cookie people no. because someone else showed, you know, because that, because remember what happened at the summer market when you had too many people, you know what I mean? Too many of the mm -hmm. same or similar yeah. products. That's my only concern mm -hmm. is if we can get more customers then I wouldn't have a problem bringing her in. So I wasn't trying to be pushing her off. I just was just telling her. Is that what you told her? Okay. I would get back to her, and I haven't got back to her, but I oh. wanted to talk to you guys first. So that was mm -hmm. really that concern. I've had um, there's a guy that does maple syrup right in town here, who I don't know how much he has, but I've invited him to. I told him that we need. Um, we don't want him for the summer market. No, I already explained it to him. Mm -hmm. So, but I also talked to them well, for the winter market, maybe right? for the winter market. Yep. So, but I also talked to your your summer market guy. Mm -hmm. He's not planning on coming. So it uh, may, That's what Paul said? That's what his wife said. Oh, really? So 
I'm not pushing her out. I was just asking if they were, if they were, because she had asked me, or I had asked her about the summer market, winter market, if she wanted to participate, like come now because mm -hmm. now they should have more inventory. They think they're tapping now, right? Mm -hmm. And they should have more inventory, so mm -hmm. they're pretty much done tapping at this point. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. And she said, was not interested in the winter market. And I, she said, why? I said, because well, I have a, a guy in town that's looking to do it and welcoming him here. So I gave him my phone number. He hasn't called me yet. And I actually sent him another message. And mm -hmm. he's been really busy. So um, another town resident reached out for something. I don't remember what they sell. And then today, there's a woman that does paintings. Now, she is a Merrimack resident. I asked her if she lives in town. And she does paintings, mm -hmm. uh, landscape and stuff. She lives in town. And she does it yeah. herself. So I don't see a problem with having her come in and selling it. But I did tell her she needed insurance. And she didn't seem to understand the whole insurance thing. And I said, well, your homeowners should be able to, because that is a possibility to call your homeowners. And they yeah, they can figure it out. Yeah. So I told her it was a town-sponsored thing. That you know, So anyway, those are the, it's the guidelines. few people. Yeah. Those are the guidelines, and those are the people that are reaching out. Um, was in the, the cookie, the s'mores girl. And I'm not telling her no, but it's just I don't think we have the volume of customers to, to accommodate everybody, and I don't want to lose all three of them, you know, because there's nothing there, and they're not making Because what I'm noticing now is G3 is not coming on the weeks that Francisco's is coming. Oh, really? So there's not enough. There's not enough cookie sales. Oh. You know, we're getting, you know, 40, 45 people a week, mm. which is a decent number for the winter market and, mm. and for customers. And uh, I don't want to lose a vendor to, or two to bring in another one. That's all I was getting at for the 10 bucks. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to be picky choosy, but I'm trying to, I mean, what do you guys think? And I didn't mean to jump the. the uh, no, that's all right. We'll talk the, about the market no. anyway. Um, well, I, I had a couple of conversations with this lady weeks ago. And she, to me, she was no threat. She just wanted to put it out there and field the market not interrupt anybody else's business and she was adamant about only schmores yeah because i didn't know that g3 had schmores or not or well he sells a whole i don't know exactly his, but he sells a bunch of stuff he's got fudge cookies right. no, you know. know and i didn't know that um francisco had schmores either well so. they don't have schmores they sell cookies but it but yeah. she but she knew that there were other bakers there and she was not a threat by any means but that's your decision I, you know to take her or not. Well, I and don't think it would be a problem for the summer market, firstly, because we have several vegetable vendors. Everyone sells mm -hmm. the tomatoes and the lettuce and the cucumbers, mm -hmm. and it's a, a personal choice on where you choose mm -hmm. to purchase from any one of those. No, I would encourage her to the summer so market. Yeah. I, I, yeah, the winter market, I would say not necessarily, mm -hmm. but I think she ought to be able to come to the summer market. I think it's, you know, people have can make choices on if we had 80 to, to 100 people rolling through there, I would say fine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's, that's oh, for, the, yeah. for the winter market. Not, not, I, I just don't want to. Not wanna, for the winter market necessarily. Right. I don't think that. I think she no, no traffic. No, right. And traffic. that's kind of what I'm basing it on is, mm -hmm. you know, we already have people that just come in and just, unfortunately, they go to the fish guy, they only buy from the fish guy, and then they leave. And then they buy from me. You know, and it happens. Yeah. But, you know, like I try to get my, I, yeah. I get my customers to come in instead of meet me at the shop because I want them to buy from the other people if they can. You know, you try to say, oh, well, you got, the, like today, we had a new vendor show up today, um, Velicentes, they make pasta, they're in Hollis. Mm -hmm. I got all the paperwork and stuff, and they just started this week, and they sell meat sauces, um, they make their own pasta, they even raise their own tomatoes to put in it, so it's a, it's a good product. Um, mm -hmm. So, you, you know, hey, go see them, hey, go see them. Mm -hmm. so. You sell hamburgers, so what are you making? I'll make it spaghetti. Oh, why don't you go see these guys over well, here? Well, right. And you we know, try to. Some chives, you know, you it's really them. been a very positive vibe in there with the vendors all want to work together in, in the winter market. But it's not that I don't, I'm not holding it against her on the s'mores. It's just I don't think there's enough customers there to. For the winter one. For, for everybody I'm, to I'm make, to try everybody make I, money. I understand. I understand. What else is going on with the winter market? Made a big deposit. Yeah. Missed you yesterday. Really? Um, so they, they're all set. Seven hundred forty dollars was deposited yesterday. You're yes. up to date. Yeah, except for today. I was told otherwise. When you saw him yesterday morning, right? <laughs> no, late last night I got an email. Late last night. Yeah, from I, finance department. 
Um, I saw Paul yesterday. He's got all my. He's got all the paperwork. He's got all the money. Got all the receipts. You're still two hundred and eighty dollars behind, as of March twenty seventh. Two hundred eighty dollars behind on what? On the rent. Oh, I made a deposit of seven forty yesterday. Yeah, but you have uh, bills of fourteen eighty two and. Uh, well, see, I don't have this information, Bob, so I don't. You know, I feel like I'm being ambushed on this. Just telling you what I heard. Um, well, he didn't share any of that with me. I made a deposit, and I'm up to date with what I collected. Well, so I, if I have to adjust the weekly rent, then I'll adjust that, I guess. Well, there would be something to consider if that's what you need to do, because um, the way they they spoke of it, you started in October at 483 or something like that in your account. That's gone. You're still behind what they told me. So um, in five months, two, three, October, five or six months, you're still two months behind, in essence, in the rent. How am I two months behind? You went through the 483 you, had, you started with in October. Okay. That was in your account. 483 plus 280 is like $700 and change. That's the two. That's the two months. What was the deposit yesterday? Yeah, that's what they told me. All right, I, I'll go down and see him tomorrow and see or call. I don't have time well, to run down. But. I, the the next, the question would be, hopefully you can straighten it out, Don. Well, it's the end, yeah. Because we don't have the money to take care of this from the other two accounts. Okay. You want to look at the. No, no, I, I, I just, this is, I mean, I made a deposit. That was just, done April 1st, so that doesn't reflect what Don no. did. And no. I guess the next question, no, that's why did you wait so long to make the deposit? Well, I'd rather not air it out here on the public here, but I've had some uh, health issues here. I mean, we really want to get into that on the air. I really don't feel comfortable with that. Um, is social media back up again? It's I been up. It it's today. been up. It's I been, it's it been running. So I, I'm talking about the... The Facebook guys got dropped back in March for a few weeks. That's back up, Facebook. You I've said seen you, it every week. Who got dropped? Steady. It's been every week. Every the week. The last one I saw was March 10th, and it was Alex. And then you told me you went to the forum. That's what you told me on the phone. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> then what am I misunderstanding? You're not understanding how the Facebook works. So I don't. I'll, I'll explain it to you, and Ronnie mm -hmm. can attest. All right. We post every week on the Merrimack Farmer's Market Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And today there was three posts, actually. I even saw your post when you were plugging the summer market. Um, From the we, old days? We could, no, it was someone just, someone put it out there. I'm not an mm -hmm. ad. I, did, I didn't do it, and neither mm -hmm. did she. I thought you did it. Anyway. So. I got, I got March 4th, March 13th, the 25th, 27th. The third and Facebook. Yep. Yeah. I'm so on the page. Right we're, we're, we're doing. We do it. I'm wrong. I, 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 the last one I saw was Alex's. And right. He was head fish, and it didn't mention the winter market. Just head fish. So what I'll do is this: is 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 if all the, the way to January. If yeah, if the fishmongers post something, I'll share it to the Facebook page mm -hmm. to the Merrimack Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. We also plug it on the week that the day of. Plug it. We 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 we, put, we do a post on the day. Right. So, I mean, Ronnie's seeing it. I can yeah. show you. I got it right here. Um, I've been, so, I, I see it in the forum. I it, see it on the actual page. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with the page. I like the page. He liked it. So he, actually, he actually, so his, like it here's a page right here, Bob. So what I do is I then take it as a, as a citizen of Merrimack, and then I share it to the, the, the positive Merrimack forum so other people can see it. So this was a video that we did three weeks ago. Yeah, that was, this was today's post. This is the kitchen. We just kind of went around to some customers uh -huh. there. He's got all the produce. Sorry, TV know. land. We're looking at the phone. Fine stuff. print. So we went around the room, well, the and then we just shared it. I see. Nice looking okay. chicken. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. there's me, you know, I was talking to the customer. Mm -hmm. So. Turkeys, you name it. So. so much meat in there. No. This will show. So this will. This was today. Mm -hmm. So we took um, took some pictures. Mm -hmm. Today's catch. Mm -hmm. Picture aquaponics. Yeah. This is the new people, Valicente. Uh, you know, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti. Threw some meat out. Mm -hmm. Some cookies. Mm -hmm. That's what was there today. So, mm. 
this was also earlier this morning by fresh so we, we were telling you if you put a post out if you put a picture on it like this even mm -hmm. this right you can pull it off the internet people they gravitate to it so this mm -hmm. one says buy fresh eat buy local um well, best. I mean, mm -hmm. last year for the windows market last year i can attest when I would see the farmers, but hey, come on down to the. It was just words. And right. Every yeah. week, people go okay, and they just kind of and they skim by it. When, so when you put a picture, I kind of oh, what's. I picture? actually went to a seminar, like a class, and they said if you're going to do face mark, Facebook marketing, use a picture. Mm -hmm. People look at it. They mm -hmm. went. So this was this was this morning, and in this one we were introducing. This was last night. We were introducing, just a quick little joke. Okay. Impasta. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Oh, okay. So a little joke. Okay. And then, but see, there was a one comment, and there was 28 likes, nine shares. So these are people that were just moving. Putting it out there. Putting it out there. Okay. Now, the week before, don't forget the meet up at the farmer's market, the pun on words. Yeah. <coughs> Today, three to six. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a ham. I see. Okay. So this is what we've been mm -hmm. doing. And then the week before, smile. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So we're doing all these things, and this is, we've been plugging in every, everything. And then we did the fishmongers. They had a red fish out, mm. so we did a picture of that, and they and they date it right on the bottom of the thing, uh, right here. That's March 27th. Mm. So this is all on the farmers market page. Mm. And then these guys, this was Quinn. He actually the one that sells it. Mm -hmm. And I shared this. So this was a post from the fishmongers. I oh, shared. Oh, yeah, the company one? No, just Quinn. I see. So they trade off once in a while. Mm. So every week. Now this is just a promotional thing, but like, and then then we go back to the video. Victory Aquaponics, and then yeah. we list all the vendors. Mm -hmm. So we do put it out there every week. Mm -hmm. Today we did it three times a week. The attendance has been up. Earlier in the year, mm -hmm. the weather was, we were very weather dependent when it was cold and rainy, uh, uh, snowing. Mm -hmm. People weren't really coming out. We were trying to plug it. Mm -hmm. But these are just these pictures that we're throwing out. Another one here is it's a beat. Life is way better when you're upbeat. Okay. You know, just cute little things, and the people like it, and they share it, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, this one here had 10 likes. Four comments, four shares. That's from the public. That's not from mm -hmm. us. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But so we. How, how has participation been the last few weeks? It, it, it's been up. It's been up. So we're getting. I would say to, I didn't. I didn't bring the paper with me, but we had. I, I want to say 45, 47 oh, um, customers come in, and they're buying. Not from everybody. Again, they go to the target audience. So that's what we've been doing on Facebook. We've been up on this every week. And how many mm -hmm. vendors? We had five today. We had two. So Joy and Don were both sick. They had a bug or something. And uh, G3 sent me an email last night so they wouldn't be here. So, um, But it's been averaging. We've been averaging five. We're trying to get more. Uh, if we can get a few more vendors in. So you I, can't pay the rent with five. Well, I'll add, okay, we were getting more, but sometimes we're up to 10. Some weeks we're up to 10. I will adjust the rent. I, I don't have a problem with that. I've already told people that if we can't stick it out at 10, that we will adjust it. Well, you need to have that discussion with them because... Okay. Um, and, yeah. and I'll do that. I, I don't have yeah. a problem with that. Questions? No. No, I, I think that it needs to be adjusted so we can, they can meet the expenses. You got to make and that I think that would, that would make, make right. it work. Right. Um, Back to 15? I, I think 15 because it's, it's, yeah. it's four weeks. You know, we're, every, we're four weeks, so that 15 is an extra... 60 a month, yeah. An extra sixty bucks, I think that we can overcome it. Give give it two, you know, I'll say two months to overcome the whole. Not two months, but and we need six to, weeks. Um, we should be able to overcome it. And with the uh, container garden um, yeah, thing um, coming up that at the, on the twenty fourth, so that we should advertise that. Maybe get that might I, bring I'm, in. Just if you can have Paul give me some kind of a picture, or if he wants to put a picture. He's of the supposedly making a. Uh, right. a so, if he makes, if he takes a picture of it, send it to me. I'll be more than happy to share it out there, and and, and we'll we'll hammer it. So know? instead of the seventeenth, he wants to do it on the twenty fourth of April. I, I saw that here. I circled okay. it. So with the money you you owe the two eighty two, I guess five times fifteen times four was seventy five times is three hundred. So in note that'd be what you you owe, but you need to have more than five to pay the rest of it. That's what of I was court, saying. right. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the other problem is, too, we're giving scholarships away, and, and you guys can't contribute at this rate, you know. If I will, the, if you hear me. With, yeah, and with the, so. more, the more participation, mm -hmm. of, like we're getting more vendors, mm -hmm. like we just added one. They plan on being there every week. Um, now, the, was Paul going to give us flyers uh, to hand out? For he's supposedly making a best, but we don't have them yet. Okay. 
Um, today was you know, teachers. Because I could, put, um, I could maybe ask meeting. Carrie to put some down at the cone. or. Right, I'll pass them on. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get Tammy to print them, and, okay. and we'll pass, okay. give everybody a bunch of them. You know, I'll print like 25 of them, give everybody four or five. <laughs> and then Don can take the pictures, whatever, you know. I don't know what he wants for container thing, but. Well, just something to describe what he's doing, a brief description, mm -hmm. and we, we can put it out there and put it out there a couple oh, times yeah. and share it. And then So the goal is to um, make the deficit go away yep. and um, talk to us. Tell us how it's going before, before May 13th or whenever the next date is. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll please. We'll, we'll implement it next week. I don't, you know, I already told yeah, everybody that's what. Moving forward. Be the eighth. Next meeting be the eighth. May we're going to, well, we're going to meet at the winter market on the 24th of April. So we'll have oh, that's some right, news sorry. then. And then the next, on the 24th. Meeting, our meeting, okay. Our meeting will be eighth. Second Wednesday, yeah. So moving on, item C is a community garden. I'm going to road it till next week or maybe this weekend if it's dry enough. We'd like to pound steaks Tuesday the 16th. Is that a good day for you? Uh, this this coming? Yeah. Two hours. I, let me, I'm not saying no. 3.30 well, to 5.30. 3 to 5. Round I'll zone. be on call, but I should be able to make it. So if I have to go, I have to go. That's all I'm saying. And then it's done. I, I already got the string. I already got the flag. <coughs> if I could, the string is all we got to do. The stakes and the string we got to do. The flag should be done later. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, the backup date, if it rains, would be Thursday the 18th. So that's why I offered you Tuesday first. Yeah, no, no. Okay. The, the Thursday wouldn't work for me. But. A rain date of 18th? Yeah. Like 3 to 5 p.m., best. You don't have to be there. Mm, well, I'm at work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I would go over yeah, Somebody's making us money. Anyway, um, we um, have like 40 plots sold at the community garden in Washington already. Really? Wow. A lot of, lot of interest. A lot of old gardeners uh, have responded. Um, it just, of the, of the, Experienced gardeners out there listening to me, I promised you the, the plots by the 11th of April. I believe it's going to be the 15th or 16th because I had to send a couple of contracts back to their to their own people to uh, mm -hmm. get further information and so on and so forth. So bear with me. We will email you. I will email you the 15th or 16th of April oh. to give you the plot numbers. I'll get it, But well, we won't have any numbers yet up until the end of next week anyway because well if you're rototilling on the 16th well no it'll be rototilled before oh. the 16th but we're going to put the stakes in around the 16th and put okay. the strings up and then at my leisure a couple days later i'll get all the i have the white flags numbered already we'll get them in there as quick as we can there are still more plots available to people who have interest to garden this year we have some new gardeners coming the price for a 10 by 10 plot to residents of Merrimack is $10. To non-residents, it's $15 per plot. Um, and you guys can contact me, uh, Merrimack Community Garden at Gmail. Very easy. Call me. Uh, I'm out there. Leave me a message, please. I don't hear it all the time ringing in my pocket, but I will call you back. And or send you an email in the evening when I get home to my computer. So it's okay. Merrimack um, Community Garden at Gmail at Gmail dot com. Yeah. Um, so that's all I have for the uh, community garden. I did overspend some money on the string and the flags. We'll do that at the end. I have a little list that Tammy gave me. <laughs> so did you buy it through them? Yeah. Okay. That's why. Uh, moving on, item D. Any questions on community garden before I go? Mm -hmm. Nope. Item D, container planting demonstration April 24th at the O'Leary Center. Uh, one of our members, Paul Drone, will show you how to container plant vegetables from 3 to 6 p.m. at the O'Leary Center April 24th. At the Winter Farmer's Market. Winter far at the Winter Farmer's Market, excuse me. Come to uh, peruse the other vendors, learn how to um, container plant. Ask questions. We'll be there for th those three hours. And I'll have applications for the garden, too, if you need that. 
Um, moving on, item E. I got the renewal in the mail for the Farm Bureau membership. It's seventy-five dollars. Um, we have to vote on it. Motion to renew our Farm Bureau membership for seventy-five dollars. Is there a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero. Thank you. <coughs> um, and I got an email from Jolie Chase. Um, Cucumber, cucumber project this year will cost three fifty. What was it last year? The same. Oh, I thought it was two fifty. I don't know why that uh, stuck in my head. No, no, no. I thought I, it was two fifty too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That number is stuck in my head. I have to go back in the middle. That's why I said. That's why I was so quick Maybe. to say three fifty. Really? Yeah. Maybe we don't they have, have more participation again. Oh, that could be. Yeah, they may, they may have more. They may have more. And um, stuff with, you know, with the it's trees. definitely worth stuff it. I was just, up, but yeah. but I thought it was too. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I didn't remember it. To be honest with you. And then if we want to do the annual 4-H education stipend, that's five hundred dollars. It would be two checks. Uh, she will give me a uh, an address in Glasstown to deliver it if and if and when we're ready. Uh, Did they spend the f money last year? The cucumbers? Something. No, 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 not the cucumbers. The, the I, presume, I presume they did. I, I don't have I don't information know. on them. Answer. I can email to ask her. You want to put that? You didn't put that in your on your agenda, Jolie's thing, did you? Want I know. To I add, put add, it next to. Uh, shall yeah. we put it under comments from the commission? Or? Yeah, if, if you want to. I, I put a slash after Farm Bureau membership. Oh, I just okay, stuck you in can Jolie. do that too. Um, just. To I mean, I'm not trying to cheap out on it, but if this 500 is still there, why? You know, they didn't use it. Why would you send another 500? I will well, ask her. If there's three something just replenished, so it's an even five. Why put an additional five? I, I guess yeah. that's what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> Well, because it's something that we've appropriated to do, and so they may have something like one year we appropriated in more money for someone to go to help well, out with expenses along with that $500. So what, well, so. what we did was is they came, uh, that was to go to Kentucky hmm. Derby. She was asking for money, and they, didn't ha they had unused money yeah. that they didn't use that we moved to give to her. Is what we did, if I remember correctly. And they replenished the. Phone. And then, then we replenish it the following mm. year. So if no, I guess what I'm getting at is I don't want to throw another 500 and have a thousand dollars sitting over there if they didn't use it. You know, use it. I'm not trying to be cheap. I'm just trying to. Really. Throw. Well. <laughs> well, no, but if it's just sitting there, I mean, listen, no, I'm all for the 4-H. Well, yeah. I just donated a calf to a 4-H kid. Yeah. Right. Well, um, I, I, th I think, yeah, we could check with her on that, but I, I think they probably are using it because I think they go to that conference, Kentucky Horse Park, or wherever they hold their annual um, thing, so. I was just curious if it's she's used it. To ask. I, I just didn't know if they yeah. used it, it, it or in part, part of. Mm. The, well, well, that's for the Merrimack kids, correct? That's, that's where right. I understand it, yeah. Well, town of Merrimack, not Merrimack, yeah. <clears throat> that's the communication. But that fund can also be used for... Uh, should they need other something else if they emergency feed or something like right. that? Right. Uh, I'm all I mean, about it's, it's not just uh, it's it's for things like that as well as the way I understood it. So, but it's best to check. You're right. It doesn't hurt to curious. ask how how the funding. I'll are. send her on their email and ask her what the 500 went for. Yeah, and, and perhaps have a little report because it would be nice to know that how the money is. So we're going to hold off on that vote right now. I think well, we can do the pickle. Well, one, we've right? already done that. Haven't we already it's, it's voted? It's two different checks, right? It is two different checks. So we can vote on a. Uh, make a motion to allot three hundred fifty dollars for the cucumber for the four H cucumber project. program project for the four H. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero. Thank you. So that's half a jolly anyway. Um, okay, moving on. Yep. Next is bug alert. Uh, ticks are out. Uh-oh. I had one already. Did you? Mm-hmm. Saturday. Big one or little one? Tiny one. Whoa, that's a bad one. You can always one. feel those little guys. They, they, they have all those they, legs that crawl. They still crawl. <laughs> yeah. My dog's got a possum. <laughs> nice. Really? Yep. Out of season. <laughs> they don't need a permit. <laughs> So, but, but just um, to be clear on the, the $500, I thought we already appropriated that. No. Not for this year? No. no. We haven't? No. We've, talked, not, we've talked about <coughs> it, but we didn't not vote this on it. It's an annual thing, and I'm just bringing it back up. So, again. okay. Last year we did it so late, I don't know what happened with it. And, and that's kind of why I'm asking it. Right. I, I, I understand. I understand. I'm not trying to be. So, oh, no. ticks are out. Let's see with the bugs. Um, this is also the first time for grub, grub application. Now the lawn is starting to get green. Skunks are out. 
Yeah, they're digging the, the shrimps out of the ground, out of the lawn. And also, if you do any pre-emergence crab gas control, which is a little off the bug topic, but please put it down before the forsythia bloom, which could be another week or so. What, what are we putting down? Pre-emergence crabgrass control, weed control. Oh, weed control. So it's for cra crabgrass. Before the forsythia blooms. And that, that, that's going to be another week or so before it starts. That's all I have on bugs. I got a few uh, questions. No. Nope. No. I got a few uh, workshops I want to go through. And I'll, then I'll give you this whole list. Best. Okay. Okay. Um, I went to a scale clinic in Milford last week, very well attended. I, would, I got there early at 9.30. I was number five at 9.30. It starts at 10. Wow. But I was out, I was out the door by quarter after 10. Um, Al Swenson was number one. <laughs> Good old Al. How long was he there? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was there as long as I he was. He got there at four? <laughs> no, I, well, it's a good question. I don't know. Four, yeah. um, I understand the pruning demonstration at Lustokas went well. I didn't go, but I heard there were 60 people there. Oh, really? I yeah, I talked know. to John. He, he said it was very well attended. Wow. Um, I know Joy went, uh, she and yeah. Caleb. Uh, farm safety trainings. There's three presentations. General farm safety, April 11, UNH Extension Office in Goffstown. The second one is Friday, April 12, 10 to 1 at Pomeroy Dairy Farm in Mount Vernon, for those of us in Hillsborough County. And the third one is Saturday, April 13th at the Forbes Farm in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Uh, it'll talk about farm incidents and emergencies um, and techniques and rescue and uh, first responder stuff, that type of thing. Um, I have a connection to a website if you guys want to questions, but UNH Extension has all this too. Produce Safety Alliance Training, April 16, Granite State College. Talks about the Food Safety Modernization Act um, and good agricultural practices. It's an all-day affair. Uh, I don't know if there's a fee or not. I can't tell from here. But something that we all have to take sooner or later. Uh, Tuesday, April 16, uh, Cheshire County Conservation District in Westmoreland. Uh, they have new rental farm rental equipment available, and there's going to be a training session for it from 5 to 7 p.m. for those of us that are interested. It's a walk behind rotor tiller with multiple attachments available for rent from the Conservation Service. Um, April 16, again, different place, uh, New Hampshire Farm Bureau office. Small and beginner farmers of New Hampshire are, are hosting Three Rivers Farmer Alliance to see if there's any farmers or people in the ag business that want to get into the alliance business with them and form a co-op. Um, Tuesday at 6 p.m., I don't know how long it lasts, but it would be a walk and talk, greet and meet, that type of thing. April 17th, Saturday, 9 to 1 at Allison's Orchard, Walpole. Uh, fruit tree, getting started with fruit trees by Carl Majowski at 9.30, and then landscaping using logs and stumps, i.e. I mushroom uh, planting, seeding, at 10.30. They talk about mushroom life cycles on logs and stumps and how you seed that out and that type of thing. It'd be kind of interesting, the mushroom thing, for those of us that buy it for $3 a pound, whatever. But that's, that's up north in Walpole. <coughs> West. Yeah. Allison's Orchard is a huge facility. No, it is. You guys have ever seen it. Um, American Farm Bureau Women's Leadership Program is doing an online survey for ladies that have goals, aspirations, or achievements in agriculture. Um, it's a comprehensive survey uh, that they would ask questions you can answer. There is a gift um, certificate available for lucky drawing at the end. Um, I have a contact, or Farm Bureau has a contact. New Hampshire beekeepers are looking for data on 2018-2019 beehive losses. Um, I have a website to contact if you want to contribute your losses or gains for your honeybees. Um, I think I put that in the minutes, last, last month's minutes. And that's all I have for classes and news on that end.
right now. Item H is horse sense. Horse sense. Well, assuming everyone has made their appointments for their have their horses uh, have their shots, it's approaching show season for 4-Hers and many other people. They're all getting excited to get back into the show ring. So uh, horse show preparation. Competing in horse shows can be a wonderful pastime, but as, as with any sport, it is important no, no. to be prepared. No, no. Goodwill organized <clears throat> horse show preparation can be your key to success in the equestrian show ring. Oh. After being well prepared, <laughs> can also reduce the amount of stress you feel when your horse step into the arena for the first time. The exact preparations you need to make depend on the type of horse show you will be attending. But there are some general rules and things that can, you can do to get your horse uh, ready, you and your horse ready to show. Showing your horse, and here are six tips for successful horse preparation. One, always read the rule book carefully. Good horse show preparation means doing this before you attend the show to find out exactly which rules you will have to follow. Many shows are run by equestrian organizations or un under association rules. They can use one of many rule books, including the British Dressage or BSJA rule book. In America, it could be the USEF rule book with others follow while others follow breed rules like the AQ, HA, or some use 4-H rules. The entry forms or prize list should be clearly state which rules are in force. If not, contact the show secretary or show manager for clarification. Two, try to attend a similar show as a spectator first. And this would be important for new people that are new to showing. The rules in the rule book are important, for they are the unofficial rules, but there are unofficial rules as well. Good horse show preparation involves attending a similar show as a spectator or as a groom for a more experienced horse show competitor. It is the perfect way to understand the showing styles and current trends that prevail in horse show in the horse show ring. Invest your valuable time watching the classes you plan to compete in and note which horses are winning consistently. This can tell you a lot about the current trends and styles the judges may prefer. You can also pick up the latest gossip with, about which judges prefer for which breed types and plan your entries around the judges that suit your horse best. Number three, get to know the, the plating, banding, or braiding requirements. At lar larger horse shows, plating, braiding, or banding is generally required for hunter classes while it is often optional at smaller shows. If you are unsure about whether plating, banding, or braiding requirements apply, make sure you ask the show secretary or manager for guidance. Plating or braiding does give your horse a more professional and polished look, so you may want to plate or braid even when it isn't specifically required. Four, clipping styles and clipping requirements. The way you clip your horse will depend on its breed and the requirements of the show classes you plan to enter. Work with your instructor or trainer to determine the best or most suitable way to clip your horse based on its breed or type. Clipping the muzzle and ears is fairly standard, but different breeds have different styles when it comes to the length of the mane and the size of the bridle path, particularly native breeds. Number five, always compile a horse show checklist. The last thing you want to do is arrive at your horse show without the equipment you need. It is important to make a list of all items you need, might need, but the blatantly obvious tack, like your saddle and bridle, to grooming supplies, spare hat or jacket, and plenty of string or safety pins to secure your comp competition number. Go through your horse show checklist carefully and check off each item as you load it into your horse box or trailer. And finally, number six, and importantly, always arrive early. It's always a good idea to arrive early on the day of your horse show. Your horse is competing in a strange environment, not what they are used to at home, and that, and that in itself can involve major adjustments and a lot of distractions. Among early, arriving early gives you and your horse a chance to warm up properly and to really get ready to perform. You will avoid any worries about time constraints, the number one factor that leads to nervousness and poor performance. It also means that you have plenty of time to plan your route to the ring and make sure you register, collect numbers, find a farrier if you need one, and replace or borrow items you forgot to add to your checks list. So there you have it, six top tips for horse show preparation. Remember them and they should help you make, make sure your first or your next horse show goes exactly as planned. 
And another important factor is, is that if you're training to go to the show ring, train your horse at home the way you plan to ride them in the show ring so the horse is not uh, all of a sudden experiencing something new that you haven't done at home. I have a couple questions, Bess, about mm. that. Are we talking Western or? Well, either or, English? and that's why I said, you know, you, you have to go and know mm -hmm. what is expected for the different types of classes, whether it's English or Western or Hunter, based, Jumper. Based on the class, how do you dress for it? Well, most English classes, you know, it depends on, on what, whether you're dry, riding dressage or whether you're jumping, you know, you, mm -hmm. your dressage is gonna be a little bit more formal attire than you would be for hunter jumper or for doing cross country um, so western you would be you know they are all decked out your leather should be immaculate oh yes they should, everything should be cleaned everything should be done ahead of time uh-huh um how about the hooves yeah they clean make sure the hooves are in good shape and clean and you know years ago when i was in 4-h i was a little kid but we used to put nail polish on the hooves well, they put a. They do, do have anymore. different things. They put blackening on to blacken them up, or oh, they really? put a clear, clear Re kind of. Trying to hide stuff. Yeah. yeah. How about like bleaching their tails and stuff? There's a stain. They don't do that. Well, they have special products for that now. I, I think. I don't think uh -huh. they use bleach. Yeah, it drove you know. us crazy when we were showing beefers and stuff. Or, or oh yeah, yeah. yeah. try to try to keep them clean. You know. Yeah. I just saw. Well, that. they the saddlers. You know, I can remember. Um, uh, uh, young fellow that used to help me with my saddle bread he raised his saddle bread and rate and showed he trained them and showed them for the show ring mm -hmm. and when he washed the tail of course their tails are long you know they mm -hmm. they never hit the ground and and when he washed the tail he separated each hair where we take our brushes and go like this wow. with a show sheen and things really? each, every a brush never touched that horse's tail it was all everything was all hand separated you know all wow. dried and i mean there's, I don't know that every time. breed and every yeah. everything they all have their own little specifications yeah, wow. done. you know I just had a kid 4-H uh, kid uh, approach me about uh, uh, he wanted a Hereford heifer calf so I happened to have one beautiful it was dark dark red too nice. and uh, I was bottle feeding it because it was a first time mom and she wasn't feeding it but she kind of left it anyway so I gave it to him for 4-H because that's he said he was one for 4-H and I said well I got a deal for you, kid. <laughs> Take <Yeah>. it. <laughs> you bottle feed it. Really yeah, good. you bottle feed it. You know. He's housing it at the farm. No, he took it home with him. Yeah, no, no. He he wow. he, he, pro he called to see if I had a, a calf for sale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, "What do you want?" He said, "I got some Hereford, and I had a a Hereford cross mm -hmm. that uh, it was pretty. It was, it was a, a bull, and he was red and white, and." Uh, mm -hmm. Almost looked like a Guernsey, but he didn't have any Guernsey in him. Right, it was right, that right. kind of color. Yeah. So I sold that bo the bowl for fifty bucks, and I gave him the. They were both. They were both. I was bottle feeding both of them, and then I oh. just gave him the heifer for showing. So mm. we'll see. I says, the condition is I want to know how you place. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave it to him. That was really nice. Yeah. So. Well, there, there's a lot to the showing showing world, I and mean, it really is it just. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's going to do basics what they're, are what ba they're doing. basics are basics, and then you go from there. When you, when you go to Ohio and some of your bigger fairs, you really appreciate your, you know, your local stuff you do. And when you go to Ohio and you go to Big E and all these sales and auctions that I go to, it's another world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, some people, that's their livelihood. They, they, raise, they raise their show flock and they breed with the, if they have a grand champion ram, they breed him to 50, 60 ewes. And then all, all summer and, and uh, fall, it's... They're just selling sheep, and they, whatever they don't sell for show, they bring to market. I mean, and they show their animals. They make their money at the fairs. That's their livelihood. Mm -hmm. So they're very, it's very cutthroat. Yeah. Some of these, but I mean, it's just when you think you've seen it all, you always see something else. It's like, wow, it's different when, we, when you go to these shows. I can't wait when I go, I'm going when I go for in May. But well, in, in, in the horse time. world, they want to be as prepared as possible, so you right, have a good right. experience. Because if you don't go and you're not fully prepared, then it's disappointing. And, uh, yeah, no, I. So, mm. but it's a lot of work. Full time job. Mm. Oh, yeah. Easily. Well, I, my, my, my vet, his, his wife does the hunter jumper. And I'm just, I mean, I go over there when I'm, I'm seeing Mark, and he wasn't there, and she needed help loading up the mm. horses, and it was, a whole, it was a whole different thing. Mm. They're already spit shine before she's putting them in the trailer to take mm. them. And then she'd do them again when she's in there, there but. Mm. <clears throat> a lot of work. Yeah, well, 
Treasures board? Oh, sure. Why not? The Agricultural Commission Farmers Market Fund account as of uh, February 28th, 2019, the um, balance is $4,684.88. The Community Garden Fund account is $1,975.22. And the Farmers Market Fund account balance is $177.09. That was the winter, right? That's the whole number. That's the yeah. That's yeah. It's, it's that's okay. as of two twenty eight. Because you put the deposit today, right? Yeah. No, I did it yesterday. Yesterday, sorry. Thank you, treasurer. Um, questions? We all know, right? Yeah. Uh, review of draft minutes, March thirteenth. The only adjustment I did was I adjusted Paul's date to 24. April twenty four. I think. Yeah, I, I thought it. I, I didn't thought do it. Looked it good. There, you didn't do it on this. I didn't do it on yours. Well, I didn't know about it until we got here. Right. Yeah, because it originally was on the... Uh, April 17th was is yeah. how it typed out, but it's really April 24th. Uh, if that's the only change, do you want to accept the minutes? Or? Motion to accept the minutes. Is there a second? For March 13th. I said I thought you couldn't, because you can't, you weren't here for the meeting. Oh, oh yeah, you could be right. Yeah, you can't. Motion to accept the minutes. Can oh, yeah. the three of us yeah. do it, though? Yeah, there's only five. The minutes? Yeah. yeah. Motion to accept. Uh, well, I, I, I motion. Jesus. Best you want a second? Out. I'll second. Here All in go. favor? Aye. Three zero. It still passes. Motion passes. Um, comments from the press, comments from the public, comments from the commissioners. There's a couple other uh, things we have to tidy up here. Shaw's wrote us a letter. We are contacting the Merrimack Community Garden at Wasserman Park. We were chosen by Shaw's store leadership, benefiting nonprofit, receive a donation for the month of May from their bag, reusable bag program. It's a donation. Um, Wasserman Park will receive $1 for the reusable bag. I'll give this to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very nice of Shaw's before, and Merrimack to remember, remember us. Very nice. Um, and also, the other part of bookkeeping, um, hooking up with Tammy, um, there's an outstanding postage receipt that was never honored to me going back to January 22nd when I did the mailing for the summer market for $100. She would like to revote that so she sees those. And I thought we already revoted that. Yeah, I know. I thought so, so gonna, too. So this is the same. Okay. Same thing. Uh, let me just go through the list. I made um, 11 by 17 color copies for the map of the community garden. Okay. Because my printer doesn't do it. I'm going to laminate one and put it on the bulletin board. I'm going to put one in each book that I have. Uh, we had to blow it up a little to put names on it. So at Staples, I spent $3.74. I gave them a receipt. Um, the extra on the bailing twine and the flags for the community garden was $23.60. That's over the $100 a portion you get, guys gave me uh, last month or two so months 23 ago. So $23 what? $23.60. <coughs> I'll give you this note. Okay, yeah, give That's, me the note. We already voted on the Farm Bureau renewal. And Jolie Chase, uh, we only did three fifty. We did the three fifty for the cucumbers, and okay. then you were going to ask I'll, her about I'll ask her about the, the about that. Yeah, then we can. give this the best please. So the hundred all okay. So, so the hundred dollars for stamps back to January twenty second. It was, must have been. Did we vote? We voted. We did revote it. Yeah. But she wants it again, so she could do it. Okay. It was outstanding. In, in so. active minutes or newer minutes, right. she requested it. So I'm just doing what she asked me to do. Just so for all of that. Is there a motion to? Well, and I'm not trying to nitpick. So the twenty. So you bought the twine and the stuff through the town. Through the town bought it. We, we you only allocated to me from the meeting previous two meetings. Right, one hundred dollars. It went over budget by twenty three dollars and sixty cents. The twine went over and the flags went over. It, it okay. Co combined, it was one twenty three sixty. So no, the no, overage okay. is 2360. That's what she And then the 374 was for? For these big copies. I put four, made four big copies of Staples for $3.74. So 374 Right. And the $100 was, okay. Was for, for the stamps. copy? 
Yeah. Three seventy four is a copy. So I think it's on there. Okay. So, so we're reimbursing the hundred dollars. To me. That but we're yeah, that's what I'm saying. You already spent yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. So that's, that's taken care of. But so we now we have to we have to vote for the um, I just want to know how. 2360. So, so, well, it would be more than that. Right. The, the 374 plus the 2360 separate from the other. These the are all going to be three different. No, so uh, Postage. So I make a motion to reimburse, reimburse Bob McCabe $100 for stamps that we've already voted on twice. In addition to. Is there a second? 23. You want to do it separate? We're going to do it all separate. That way that there's no okay. mis. I don't want to. All right. I'm going to simplify this for finance. Second? Ron, I'll, I'll, sec I'll second that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to reimburse Bob McCabe $3.74 for copies for the uh, Staples. For the Staples, with well, the Staples receipt for the community garden. Print printouts. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Make and then the over third motion. <laughs> <coughs> like to reimburse town finance twenty three dollars and sixty cents for the overage of the twine and uh, flags. flags for yeah. the community garden. Well, we're appropriating that to. to buy. Well, we appropriated a hundred dollars, but are we reimbursing yeah. you? No, no. We're, we're, yeah. It comes out town of community garden account. Town finance. So we're, re oh, we're, we're reimbursing we're, the we're reimbursing the finance account. department twenty three dollars and sixty cents for the twine and flags for the community garden to be up and above the hundred dollars that we already allocated. I second. think that's everything. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to second that? You, oh. you did already. Oh, you, you can't. Yeah. So I'll, already sec seconded I'll second you. that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye, you. Thank you. I think I'll get this right. <laughs> okay, we'll cruise right along. Motion to adjourn. Bob will, Bob will correct <laughs> Any other comment? Anybody want to say I, anything? I don't have a comment. You know, next no? meeting is uh, May 8th, Ronnie. Is that what yep. it is? Yeah. Um, again, we have more community garden farm plots, garden plots. Um, <coughs> come visit the Winter Market at the O'Leary Center Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoon. Um, we'll see you at Vault Storage in June. I wish you all happy Easter. Oh yeah, happy Easter. Happy That's Easter. Right. Yeah, every Merrimack resident, happy Easter. Oh, the Easter Bunny's good too. Happy oh. Arbor Day. That's right, Arbor Day's coming up. Oh yeah. The goal is to plant a tree in every community in every state of the union on Arbor Day. I may put a little uh, thing in the bug report about that. Um, article in the mm -hmm. market bulletin on the avian flu You're for right. the chickens right. if you don't mind absolutely just a little something mm -hmm. to make people aware mm -hmm. motion to adjourn yeah. i'll second that done that already all okay just check it all right all right and the time is 758 thank you for all for listening <laughs>